Hi, this is Ron McTube. We're playing the Hunter on PC, and today we're after our first Eurasian links. They've just been released onto Hemadol. There's also some new content. There's the Link Spray, which attracts a Eurasian links. 20 in game minutes is what it lasts, and you just spray it away from your face. There's also the electronic caller add on USB, which, if you've got an e caller already, you just buy that, and then you can do both Bobcat and the Eurasian link so we're going to try that out I'm on the move I was trying stand hunting earlier did it for a few hours I've seen some links come to it but I think how they move about it's probably better to get them on the roam then place the caller down when you hear a call and let them come to it there's supposed to be a hundred percent chance of them coming to the caller so as long as you don't spook it they should definitely come so I'm going to move around try and find a track and then hopefully bag one we're using the 223 semi automatic rifle, which is a brilliant rifle and also a snake bite bow. Let's see how run does. Now, you may be wondering where I am. I'm right at the bottom left of the map because I've been checking out the leaderboards and seeing where the coordinates where people have been getting these links from because they are a rare animal, they're not very common. So, I've been trying to find out rough locations, people's been killing them, and we're going to work from that. And I've got about 20 or 30 locations I've sort of looked at and it's definitely down this bottom left end of the map working up the left side so I've got 10 uh, the coordinates are X 6 6 1 9 Y minus 3 4 0 oh, 5 that's where I'm starting from going down the bottom left and curling round hoping to find tracks or a call place the caller down the electronic caller and then we're gonna wait for one to come in We'll probably run into some other animals uh, along the way. That's why one of the reasons we've got a bow, just in case we get a moose, bear, attackers, or I don't think I'll be bowing ptarmigans because they've just changed the ptarmigans. Uh, someone found that just before the patch that they weren't spawning in, so they quickly fix, fixed that. They're back on. So plenty of ptarmigans. Some people would have liked them off. Uh, they're not the favourite species for people getting the ptarmigans. Uh, they're not not really enjoyed by a lot of people. I used to like them how they originally were. They used to sit on the floor more. They didn't used to fly around constantly. It's sort of like a mosquito now. Do you know what I mean? Once they're spooked, they just go around flap, 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 flap. So I think if they return them how they used to be, I think a lot more people would like them. What you been up to this week? Ron's been playing a few different games, chilling. Uh, did a lot of uh, Africa videos for Call of Wild so if you're interested in that check those out but now we're back on classic been waiting for this links for quite a while I do like links in Britain in UK they're re-releasing them uh, they're introducing them back to the wild which is really interesting I've been reading about that uh, didn't realize that was happening just got a road air track so they're going to introduce them into rural parts of uh, Britain which is really cool. I think they're going to do this across Europe as well. These can take some time to find, so don't be pulling your hair out too early on. You're going to have to put in effort unless you come across one by luck. When I was stand hunting earlier, I had a few come in, but I did notice that one of them spooked about 30 to 40 meters out even with nothing about and me in a tree stand so they are quite spooky so you've got to watch what you're doing and uh, work out how you can approach hunting them I definitely think after spending three or four hours hunting them from a stand that on the move is probably better tracking them a little bit getting a call and then just plonking the caller down and let them come into it and just be ready to shoot them straight away I wouldn't let them uh, dawdle around the caller because they definitely do run off once they get certain uh, distance from it so blink and they're gone <laughs> and then you might not see one for another hour or two so it's good to have a challenge in the game though not everything should be easy that's what keeps you going at it when there's a challenge also makes it more rewarding if it's uh, harder to get reward Let's have a look moose we quite a decent moose that one not really what we're after here it is. Yeah, it's not bad. What are you doing here, Moose? After links. 
Yeah, he's not not too bad. I think we might have to dispatch him. I don't want to shoot him though with the rifle, so we're gonna have to bow him. Let's try it from here. Hopefully drop him. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Down like a rock. It's a good job we did that because we've got a lynx as well on our right, so bonus moose and it's a good job we didn't run because that would have spooked that thing. So get the caller down. Press B. Select the option you want. Let's get the uh, link spray out. Here we go. Give that a couple of uh, blasts. And we'll jump on a, a rock behind us. Try and get a nice oversight of the caller. Shoot it as it comes in. 223 is really steady as well, so. One of my favourite guns this is. If you don't own this, it's a great gun for turkeys, lynx, bobcats. Really is worth buying. It might even be on offer a minute as well. Right, here's our platform, I think. If we can get up it. No, we can't get up. I will try this one. Should be perfect if we can lie down on it. Yep, we can. So Ron's got his table, his platform to look at the caller. I've just got to spot it and shoot it. If you watch the EW stream this week, there was more talk about the vehicle that's coming to Classic. A lot of people are guessing what it could be and it's been confirmed that there's wheels definitely on the vehicle. So what could it be? Not said how many wheels there's going to be, which, you know I mean, that <laughs> what, what could it be? Would it be a bike? Uh, could it be a quad? There is some military type vehicles, isn't there? Um, we've got six wheels and that. I can't remember, there is a Swedish one, but I think that's actually got tracks on it. Can't remember the name of that. But uh, I'd put money on a quad, really, if it's gonna be that. Ideally, I'd have liked to seen a horse or a, a donkey mule, um, if there was gonna go that route. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out because the maps are quite small, really, in Classic. They're not like, uh, Call of the Wild, which are really big, and the element of spooking animals that's going to be a very big thing with gameplay and how the vehicles work. So, I'm looking forward to trying them out when it does happen. What it's going to be, who knows? They might have found some weird, odd vehicle to stick in, or it might be just the ATV, which are most of us probably expect it to be. Right, Bobcat is Bobcat, even Lynx <laughs> is coming in. I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I can see it, but not very good. But I am not going to move while it's coming in. I just see the tufts of its ears. I think that's a correct term. For the little black feathers on their ears. Near me, there's a place in Derbyshire. And uh, they used to house loads of lynx uh, in a castle. Sort of like a zoo. Some people let them out and uh, they skipped into the wild. So I have seen uh, quite a few of these close up. They are very beautiful. How is your lynx hunting doing? Have you got any tips for anyone? Any great locations? If it's coordinates, drop it in the chat. It could help someone out who hasn't bagged one yet or is struggling to get them. It's getting closer. I could pop it here, but I want it to get a bit closer. Also, don't want it to be in the shade. How many times does that happen in this game? It's really odd. You can get the best animal ever, and it drops right in the shade. It's like, no. <laughs> Especially when you're doing trophy shots. So I'll try and get it in the white area where the sun is. So we can take a closer look at it. They are really nicely marked almost uh, leopard sort of spots all over its body. One good thing is when a new animal does come onto the reserve, it is like learning to walk again in the hunter. <laughs> so you never know how they're gonna be, uh, especially when they've got different uh, characteristics of hunting. And these are one of them. Yes, you could say they're like bobcats, but they are a lot spookier and they're not as common. So it's nice to have him to change up your hunting style each time something new is added. 
I think that's what should happen more often. Definitely put in things that are different each time. Bring something new each time they're added. Typical. <laughs> I thought I was going to walk straight to it, but he had to uh, go behind the tree. I'm hoping it doesn't spook because they can run about 30 to 40 meters once they sort of. I don't know if they spot the caller or they just get spooked. There is supposed to be something special with uh, an animation they do, and anyone uh, that posts that um, you can get a prize. I think Tree Kiwi was giving something away. And there is our first Eurasian Lynx Dan. So Ron's happy, he's bagged his first one. Let's run over, have a look at it. We also got the bonus moose, let's not uh, forget about that. Let's t pick the caller up, because we're going to need that if we carry on hunting like this. I am going to continue over the weekend, try and stand hunting, see what that offers. If I can get the optimum place, if I do find the optimum place, I'll drop the coordinates on the forum or in a future video. Or maybe just add them to this one in the description, if it's really good. But at the minute we're just learning about them, aren't we? So let's get our moose. Not a bad moose, really. Absolutely destroyed its vitals. Uh, 159. So not bad. Bonus moose. We really did have to drop that on the spot. Because like I say, I think if that had run anywhere, the lynx would have been gone. I'm happy that dropped. Here's our lynx. Hope you have good fun over the weekend hunting them. They are a challenge, but you get a great reward from getting them. Now here's the markings. Definitely quite a bit bigger than a bobcat. There is different rear variations of the Eurasian lynx, but we don't know what they are yet because they're letting us find that out as people hunt them. Now it scored 6.1, heart shot, and it's a female. I have seen on the leaderboards that 11 is about the top, so 11 to 12 is probably the top what a male will score. So Ron's been learning to walk, <laughs> learning to hunt the Eurasian lynx, taking baby steps like this lynx <laughs> in our trophy shot. Really enjoyed hunting them. Hope you have fun hunting them over the weekend. Tune in for lots of hunter content from me regular. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.